Hey there, freaking nerds. Now, this is pretty unbelievable. I've got this old ass laptop here from 2019. It's an AMD Vega APU, and I've got Portal RTX running here uh, with upscaling. And this integrated GPU, uh, I guess it has three gigabytes. I, I thought it only had two gigabytes, of, but whatever. Um, I'm running the full fat enhanced uh, content. Uh, it's at about five frames per second. Six frames per second, holy shit. Um, it's kind of hard, but let's just start the game. I mean, it's rendering here, but let's just, I don't know, let's start the game. But uh, this is like a thin and light too. I mean, I don't know, it's a really, okay, node graph out of date, oh, hi. It's not plugged in right now either, just to keep the heat down and uh, also performance. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really change that much when it's plugged in versus not. So, holy shit. <laughs> I mean, it's really working. Holy shit. It's, it's path tracing. This is using path tracing on my 8 gigabyte. This, that's what I, I guess I should point out. This is an 8 gigabyte laptop of uh, just regular system RAM with an integrated GPU. And uh, it's a Ryzen 3500U, which is a original, it's a Zen Plus, uh, it's a Zen Plus architecture with a Vega APU, Vega 8 APU with only eight gigs of RAM with two reserved for the VRAM. So it only has six gigs of system RAM available. But it's a four core, eight thread Zen Plus CPU with a Vega 8 GPU. And it's actually running Portal RTX. It's unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it's using upscaling at 720p, so that's why it's in a window again now, because it's running at 720p. Or uh, the output is 720p, I should say. All right, well, let's go through this. I feel like, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell maybe if it's the original game or if it's Portal RTX and scenes like this. But I can't, actually, I wanna go back in. No. Okay, it's really hard to control. Uh, Portal RTX is the only... Well, I also got Quake 2 RTX to work um, at a better frame rate than this. Half-Life 2 RTX, I think, works. Um, I haven't... Well, I haven't tested that because uh, I only got this working today. So it's really slow, but... Um, this is, you know, the laptop. It's... It's, it's like a foldable that the touchscreen doesn't work anymore for some reason, but it's a foldable laptop, you know, really thin. It was super cheap. It was like 500 or 600 bucks back in 2019 and I got it for school. And it only has eight gigs of RAM. And obviously it does not have an NVIDIA GPU. Okay, I'm looking at a wall. Okay, so I'm stuck moving forward right now, but this is working using AMD, AMD's uh, Rad V ray tracing emulation feature um, on Linux that I made a video about uh, a few weeks ago, or a month ago or two, maybe. So where it is emulating hardware ray tracing. So in effect, giving you forcing software ray tracing on any game that requires hardware ray tracing like Indiana Jones and the Great Circle or Doom in the Dark Ages Doom the Dark Ages okay I can't stop moving forward right now <laughs> got some TAA blur going on because of how low the frame rate is especially I can't it's a little difficult to play this maybe I'll maybe I'll go try Quake 2 RTX, but maybe not, because this is amazing. This is Portal 2 RTX, and you know, 
I think a lot more impressive. Portal is a good game to run on this laptop because of how little RAM it has. Uh, come on, please stop moving. I, I just want to pick it up and then I can't. Okay, okay. Whoa, I, I think I got it. All right. I'll tell you this ray tracing, but it's fucking, it's not even just ray tracing, it's path tracing. It's path tracing on an AMD APU and on, a, on an AMD APU with eight gigabytes of RAM split between the GPU and the CPU using the latest version of Mesa and the latest drivers on Linux to emulate ray tracing support. Oh my God. And make it really hard to play games that use path tracing. But to run games that are quote unquote unsupported, I mean, I obviously this is not playable, but this laptop is like hilariously, like this can barely even run like Risk of Rain or Half-Life 2. Like this can barely run like, you know, I'm not barely run as in 60 FPS, you know, maybe 30 FPS like drops. Like it's not consistent. It's not a very great. So to see it running this game that uses path tracing Especially with the fact that it doesn't have any kind of ray tracing support built in. Oh my god, I did it. Please, please stay there. No, please, please, no. Just, uh, it's kind of amazing. I mean, really, really amazing. I don't own... Uh, okay, yeah, I'm working on it. I don't... I don't own Doom... Uh, the Dark Ages, except for on Game Pass, and same with Indiana Jones. Same with Indiana Jones, so I can't uh, test that on Linux right now. And I also don't have a more recent AMD GPU besides this APU, this Vega APU from 2019. So anyway, yeah, I should pro probably stop rambling. I'll show a quick test from Quake to RTX though too maybe oh I'll show you how to do it too so ah, get me out of here so um, basically you need to have the I don't know you need to have a fairly recent version of Mesa and AMD GPU installed which is basically just the AMD drivers on Linux so I'm if you install a, you know an up-to-date version of Fedora or probably Ubuntu. I'm using the I'm using the Cache OS kernel for a better performance on Linux 6.14.8 uh, on Fedora 42, and I'm actually using a development version of Mesa. I'm using 25.2, but I believe you only need to be using 25.1 and up or something like that or maybe other but anyway once you have an up-to-date driver stack you go into the and on, on, on more recent GPUs actually like uh, Vega 60 I think uh, not, no, maybe not Vega on Polaris I think on Polaris up actually so yeah on Vega 64 um, pretty much on everything from Polaris up, it does this by default on the most recent versions of Mesa, so you don't have to worry about putting this in if your GPU is recent enough, but um, I think I had to do it, I think I had to put in these launch arguments to make it work on my Vega APU, so uh, you have to type in this. And I'll put this in the description for you to copy and paste. But it's important that the system variables that you're trying to use, so like the, the wine launch arguments and the proton launch arguments and stuff like that, that you place them before this command command thing in the launch arguments. And then you put the games launch arguments after a command. So if there's any like game launch arguments that you would use like game specific ones I would put you would put them after the command part over here like that but for yeah, the Mesa and the proton launch arguments that you want to use the system variables I think they're I don't know whatever they're called 
uh, you put them before a command, you have to type the command thing and you put it before that. So this just uh, makes you compliant with uh, DXR version 1.1. So uh, that's not necessary for all games, I don't think, but it's the RADV perf test emulate RT right there. Bef and then putting that before. So the most important one is just this one right here. That's what you need for all games. And uh, yeah, that should work on all AMD GPUs. Uh, why don't I give quick to, I actually, uh, I was able to get Metro Exodus to work too, um, and I got to the main menu and I could change the options and stuff, but it, uh, on, when it's loading the main game, when you hit new game, uh, the video that plays during the loading screen, it like freezes during that, but it, it is able to render it because it renders the background, and um, I wasn't able to get Doom Eternal's ray tracing working for some reason. Cyberpunk, I was able to get all the ray tracing features actually. Maybe, why don't I just show those? So, yeah, here's Cyberpunk launching. All right, let's go to settings. So, I'm running at 720p output right now with FSR 2.1 ultra performance. So, you know, we got to go for really low reses, really low resolution here. Um, we've got, I was able, I was able to get the path tracing working, but like half of the time, or maybe more than half of the time it crashes, um, or it gets like, uh, you know, it loads, it works for about like 10 seconds and then it overwhelms some memory buffer or something and then it crashes. Um, but I was able to get all the ray tracing features turned on, including ray traced lighting, um, to work for a little bit and you know what well uh, I'm not gonna try that right now but you can even turn on frame gen if you use FSR 3 so uh, you can you know get some frame gen going and get your 5 FPS up to 10 FPS if you want but for now let's just do you know my regular mix of not mix it's just it's the low preset with uh, FSR upscaling aggressively and uh, all the ray tracing features enabled including direct lighting but not path tracing yet so everything before path tracing so let's do here hey that's me face reveal Uh, it takes a while to load, mostly because a lot of reasons, but I'm just going to pause real quick. All right, it's ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, is it going? I was hesitant to do this because it crashes sometimes, like I said, but okay. Okay. My phone's about to run out of storage space, first of all, but this is, um, let's see, this is ray tracing. Um, I'm looking, I mean, this is definitely what it looks like with ray tracing. I'm trying to find, you know, any way to show that it's obviously ray tracing. Besides, I don't know, that, that could be a screen space reflection, but um, it is using ray tracing. It crashed kind of, though, it looks like. All right, here we are at a different scene um, with ray tracing enabled again, which you can kind of see on the side of this truck with the reflections, which is, I'm really, it's, honestly, it's shocking. Like, I, God, this is like my third time doing it now or whatever, but the first time I saw it, I was like, are you serious? I was like, holy shit. So maybe I should, that's, should, that's what I should do for my videos, <laughs> is ham up my impressions. <laughs> Come on, get out of the car. I'm trying to do that. It's really hard to play it, obviously. 
because of all the ray tracing. But I think that's how it works on new GPUs too, so. <laughs> Just kidding, all right. This music's not copyright, right? It's pretty sick. Okay, well, there's some ray tracing. Let's walk around. Um, oops, all right. I gotta end the video soon, but. Um, some ray traced shadows, maybe? It's hard to tell the difference in right here between shadow maps and... Uh... They all look kind of soft. <laughs> but... Um, I want to see some ray tracing that's obvious. Because I can, because it is going on, I can tell, especially you know from the frame rate, and it is running on the GPU too. It's not using software rendering or LLVM pipe or anything. Oh wait, yeah. So these these shadows, yeah, these are not shadow maps. These ain't these ain't shadow maps. Um, especially because of how. My shadow is a lot sharper, but I guess that's not as different as a, you know, there's, there's definitely more different penumbras. Is this reflective surface? Is this a reflective surface? Interesting. I mean, I don't see myself, obviously. I don't exactly know what's included in the ray tracing in Cyberpunk and what's not. Maybe, uh, I don't know, but yeah, this is, this is what's working, so let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys have tried, what works. I'm going to do some more experimentation and stuff, so yeah, I don't know.